Hey, what's going on y'all? So today we're gonna be checking out my good buddy's uh, 2017 Ford Escape SE. So good, big thanks to my good buddy Ethan Fletcher for letting me uh, do a review on his car. But anyways, guys, before we get into the video, make sure you go hit the subscribe button. We're currently sitting at 66 subs right now. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers by... Hey guys, so in uh, tonight's video, we're gonna be taking a look at my buddy's uh, 2017 Ford Escape SC. And a uh, big thanks to my good buddy, Ethan Fletcher, for letting me do a review on his car. So, uh, this Escape is finished in uh, lightning blue metallic. And the grill is like a brushed aluminum with chrome accents. And as you go to the bottom of the bumper, got like a brushed aluminum there. And then this does have daytime running lights. LED daytime running lights, I mean. And uh, LED uh, brights as well, along with LED fog lights. <laughs> So as we go, this thing is powered by a 1.5 liter inline four EcoBoost. So for those that don't know what the EcoBoost is, it's uh, Ford's uh, turbocharged V6 and inline four engines. They have them in all the vehicles from the Fiesta up to the F-150. And these engines are very powerful for their size. And as we uh, set the hood down, as you guys can look here, you kind of see like a small little, you know, raise in the hood. As we go to the side here to look at the wheels, these wheels are um, these wheels are 17-inch wheels, and the, the tire width is 235 and a 55 series sidewall. And then right here, you got like a little fake vent here, and some body lines that go along with the vehicle, and you got a. Uh, body colored mirrors as we with body colored uh, door handles as well and a chrome trim that goes the length of the window with a piano black B and C pillars and as we work our way to the back and the brake lights you'll see it's a uh, kind of black outline and I'm kind of gives it a little more of a sportier look looks pretty good and then here's is just like any other, you know, escape. As we go back through here. Now let's go take a look at the inside. Okay guys, as we start here with the door, we got, got like a sea of black plastic here. The brushed aluminum door handle here and right here. Your basic, you know, necessities right here, lock, window buttons mirror adjustable and as we take a look at the steering wheel you got your uh cruise control settings here and then your uh, stereo settings here this does have sync with apple carplay here's the shifter with sport mode this does come with paddle shifters and this has 116,000 miles on it still rolling strong there's for your lights got a vent right there and then these seats are cloth seats they're, um, take a look here. They're uh, black with this Greg. I like how they look, kind of gives it, you know, more of a, you know, premium, sportier look. And this does have a leather wrapped arm armrest here, plastic steering wheel. As we go to the back seats, this also has the uh, Ford keypad lock, and this does have blind spot monitoring as well. So we go back here. Here we have the same thing, just the window control here. Your basic seats here with a cup holder that comes down right here. And this does have a vent controls here in the back and a house outlet plug-in back here as well. Got pockets here in the seats as well. And then in the back, we'll take a look at the back hatch as well. open it up it open you press the button it opens on its own which is i find pretty cool for it being an se model here's the back you got plenty of storage space plus when you fold the seats on you have a lot more storage to the haul stuff got a 12 volt right there with a halogen light got some hooks here they hang stuff got a little storage bin in there and right there 
And then to uh, lower the door, you just press this button right here and it lowers on its own. There you guys go. And also right here is a uh, backup camera. All vehicles, 2017 and newer, came with backup cameras no matter the trim level by federal DOT laws. You got kind of like a shark fin antenna, similar to what's on my Ford Focus. But if you guys are looking for a, uh, a good used, like compact SUV, the Ford Escape is definitely an option to look at. Because it's very nimble, handling very well, can fit into tight parking spots, and the four-wheel drive is pretty good, better than most SUVs in its class. Styling is pretty good too. A wide variety of colors. Also, guys, if you made it this far in the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're at 66 subscribers right now. It's amazing. Can't thank you guys enough. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. I'm going to be uploading a couple more videos here tonight. But uh, I'll get you guys in the next video. Peace.